Hello grade twos um, and Noah C. We are going to continue where we left off last week. Now, if you remember, we started unit five and we had three pictures that we cut out and we put them in order to tell a story, okay? So I want you to grab your first page where our bird, or I named our, my bird Betty, is building the nest, okay? So grab that first page where you put your keyword outline. I'm just gonna grab it here. So this would be the first page and you had glued your picture in and we've made our keyword outline. So what we're going to do is we are going to brainstorm ways to add in our dress ups and then you are gonna write the first paragraph of the story. Now remember, it's a story, so you get to add your details. You could give your bird a name, and it is your story to tell. There's no right or wrong, you get to put that together. Now, if you used my keyword outline, then you have to follow using this. If you made your own keyword outline, then that means you get to follow those details, okay, that we thought about that might happen in our story. Now, the first picture is that our bird is building a nest or made a nest. And to help us come up with our strong verb for our first one, we're gonna make a word bank for the word made, okay? So we're gonna think of other words for made. Well, I kind of already put one in our keyword outline. I said built, okay? So that's one way that we can do. Another word for made a nest is built a nest. Okay, what are some other ways that you can say the word made a nest? You could say created a nest. Okay, created a nest. You could say constructed a nest. So Betty constructed a nest. Uh, another word for made is I could say assembled. So these are all strong verbs. These are actions that Betty's going to do to assemble a nest. Um, she prepared a nest. Kind of like the mom's job, right? Prepared a nest. Okay. We could say formed a nest. Maybe you thought of another word for made a nest. Okay, but this could be, any one of these could be our strong verb. So taking the word made a nest and changing it using one of those words for made a nest. So that could be our strong verb. And in your package today, you're going to find a checklist. Okay, now I wanna explain the checklist here because you'll notice there's a, one, a Roman numeral one, two, and a three. And that's because for each outline we're going to make a paragraph so at the end you'll have three paragraphs today we're just doing the first one so on our checklist you have to have a dr all each of our dress ups in each paragraph so we're going to do all the dress ups today in our first paragraph so as you go through your checklist you will know for the roman numeral one that's for our first paragraph then our second and our third and up here we'll have the topic sentences because you need to have a topic for each of our paragraphs Okay, so each box is for each paragraph and each keyword outline is gonna make a paragraph. Okay, so we're gonna end up with three at the end. Today, we're gonna focus on this one. Okay, so we have Betty finishes nest, spring backyard Ottawa, found cherry tree, branch pretty blossoms, build nest twigs leaves, neatly built nest. Yours may be different and that is fine if you made your own. Okay, so we're gonna go through our dress ups. L-Y adverb, okay? So we can talk about how did the bird build the nest? Well, I actually had one down here. I said neatly. Maybe you say Betty quickly made the nest, okay? So you want to think of our L cleverly, okay? Quietly, however you want to describe. Who, which? I could say Betty, who was a blue jay, built a nest. Right? Maybe I want to say what kind of bird she is. Strong verb. We already talked about we're going to use any of these words. Find another word for the word made. 
a nest. And that can be your strong verb, however you want to say built, constructed a nest, okay? Because clause, I'm going to say Betty land, uh, built her nest on the branch because there were pretty blossoms. So she's going to build on the cherry tree because there was pretty blossoms. So because. Quality adjective. Well, I'm going to describe the blossoms. Maybe they're beautiful. I'm just looking up on our wall. Um, maybe they are fancy. Maybe they are stunning blossoms. Describe the blossoms or describe the cherry tree. Okay? And then our www.asia, which I wrote each of the words again. When, while, where, as, um, since, if, although. Um, what was I going to say? For rww.asia. When she found the cherry tree, she decided to build her nest there. Okay, or while she was flying around, she found a cherry tree. Okay, so you're going to use any one of those words, but you're going to do each of our dress ups um, and put them in as you are building your sentences. So if you want to think a little bit about it first, go ahead and today you are going to have find your first blank page. And you're going to take our keyword outline and make the first paragraph of our story to go with the picture of the bird building the nest. Enjoy, and we will see you tomorrow.